Yeah, I'll react to that, sure. Oh. Let's see someone else. Okay. Tragically, this is based on your life. I mean, this is things... Yeah, but... <laughs> Loosely, Graham. No, but things like, isn't the washing machine, that happened to you. Russell Crowe. The, the washing, you were very hungover. Oh. Yeah. Go on, tell Tony Foster that story. <laughs> All their stories are really cool, though, Graham. When I was teaching, which is what this show is based on, I, I went home one weekend, and I was in my 30s. I was probably 33 years of age. I went home to see my uh, mother, and then I went back, and while I was at home, my mother did my washing for me, because I was only 33. <laughs> and then I went back, and on the... On the Sunday night, I got really drunk, uh, and then I, I went for a curry. And then the next day, I went into school. <laughs> I'm going to. I went into school, and it was a school in Slough, and it was a, quite a rough school, but they had a really brilliant hearing-impaired department, so there were he hearing-impaired kids who, uh, you know, struggled. Mm. They, were, they were really looked after in the school. Anyway. I was really hungover. I went there, and about break time, I felt really uncomfortable. I thought, something's not right, you know? <laughs> so I went to the toilet, and I pulled my trousers down, and uh, uh, some of my mother's knickers had got... <laughs> I got mixed up in the wash she'd done, <laughs> and I was wearing my mother's underwear. <laughs> and I went, oh, God, oh, no! Oh, I remember going, oh, you loser, this is <laughs> such a low point, you fucking loser. <laughs> <laughs> and then the curry and the booze the curry and the booze kicked in from the night before. <laughs> so I I I did like a fecal Jackson Pollock. <laughs> and I started I started going, oh god, not this! Not this as well. Oh Jesus. So I cleaned myself up and I pulled my mother's pants back up. <laughs> and I went back into the um classroom and I saw one of the hearing impaired kids just looking at me like this <laughs> and that's when I remembered that my I had a microphone directly so maybe man down isn't that far-fetched <laughs> Another one. We're gonna do another one. You really were a blue coat, weren't you? I was a blue coat, yeah, at the place you showed. Oh, uh, little bit of John Tears, John Cleese's. Let's go. You really, you really were a blue coat, weren't you? I was a blue coat, yeah, at the place you showed, which was next door to Hesham Nuclear Power Station. <laughs> the thing is, I got sent there because I was, I worked at a really good one in, in Yarmouth, Great Yarmouth, got sacked. Which is another story. And then uh, was sacked and then and was sent to... We'll move on to that in a minute. But, uh, <laughs> you sent to this one? Sent to that one as a sort of punishment. It was like a, you, you're going to Morecambe to do six months. Because you have just... You've just done something which... Chicken. What had you, you know, done? Well, something that was considered cheeky in the 70s, but now is illegal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? Uh, it was actually an incident where it was my first attempt at stand-up comedy. And uh, what happened was I, I'd always wanted to do stand-up comedy. I didn't have the guts to do it. I got very drunk. I had a go at doing it as a blue coat. My mate said to me, just copy all the other comedians at Pontins and steal their jokes and basically talk to the front row. So you're supposed to say, where are you from? They say Scotland. You say, who paid for your holiday? Where are you from? Wales. You make a noise like a sheep. Rubbish jokes, right? <laughs> But I said, that's terrible. He said, don't worry, you're just padding. What you're doing is you're looking for comedy gold, which is, where are you from? They say Kent, and you say, what did you call me? Right? <laughs> now, at Pontins, this used to take the roof off, right? <laughs> so I tried it, but I was very drunk. <laughs> so I go on stage, and I say, where are you from? This bloke says, Scotland. I can't remember the joke. <laughs> I say hello. <laughs> then I said to the, to, where are you from? The guy says, Wales. I black out and I go, hi. <laughs> I panic. And then I say, anyone in from Kent? <laughs> and this 
bloke shouts out, me. <laughs> He was gonna say, "What did you call me?" <laughs> so I'm. Uh, <laughs> so I'm <laughs> I know people always end these things with, "I swear yeah. to God, that's a true story." But yeah. well, that is the bait of. Fact, isn't it? It's still in my heart. It really. It's good. I love it. No one's saying the place you want. That's, that's a great insight into the mind of a comedian. Is anyone from Kent? All right. Me. Would you call me? <laughs> that was even better. Okay. Sorry. That was good. Okay, laxative on stage. <laughs> sure, Graham Norton binge, I guess. But in terms of being on stage, now, Lee, obviously, you've done lots of stand-up, and you've, mm -hmm. you've done those tours, but you have... Do is it, have you just done one oh. play I mean, in the West End? One play, yeah. With Griff. With Griff, Griff yes. jones called The Miser, uh, in the West End, which... Oh, there I am, looking... Yes. No proper acting. <laughs> yeah. I mean, be honest, Pamola... Pam Pam Pamola. <laughs> God, Pamola, let me be honest. <laughs> I have to ask you a question, be honest, would, uh, would you freeze frame that at home and do, uh, <laughs> do a similar thing, or... Maybe if you wanted it to last longer. <laughs> but, but now, but you did get yourself match ready. You decided, right, yeah, I need to be see, fit. Uh, yeah, cos it's hard, isn't it, being in a play? I, I didn't realise this, and it's two, sh two shows a day on some days, and I thought, I'm gonna look after myself. So I stopped eating sugar for about three weeks, four weeks before. And I was really strict about it. And then on the first couple of shows, I was really craving it. And I went to a health shop and they had a bag of sweets that had no sugar in them. I thought, this is my dream come true. I know what's coming. You know what's coming, yes. don't you? I didn't know what was coming. <laughs> so I, I have one or two. If you haven't eaten sweets for six weeks and, and like me, you're obsessed with them, I ate the lot. I ate 40 to 50 of these little sweets. Some of you know what's happening here, don't yeah. you? I wish so they I, didn't put laxative stage, in the title. And, uh, I'm coming nipping off spin here, don't yeah. you? <laughs> so I, I go on stage and uh, I'm coming nipping off stage and I'm, I'm on an awful lot and I'm, what's that rumbling? Feeling a real rumble, you know. <laughs> I won't go too graphic, but let's just say I went to the toilet and it went out a lot quicker than it came in. <laughs> well, at least it's out, right? But it started coming back again. So I, so I, I look at the packet thinking it must be this. And on the back it says, do not eat more than one or two of these at a time because they are a laxative. <laughs> <laughs> I've eaten 40 of these. <laughs> I'm on and off a lot, right? So it's bad enough, the situation, but it's made worse by the fact that in the middle of the show, I had to turn round and show my burr backside to the audience. <gasps> that was the gag. I turn round, the audience laugh, and there it is, right? And I'm thinking, I'm terrified. I'm terrified anyway, but at least with your costume on, if an accident happens, you're off, right? <laughs> Imagine that front row. I mean, that's a hell of a heckle put down, isn't it? <laughs> but I am terrified. I'm thinking, I can't do that. And I'm literally going every few minutes. As soon as I go up, I'm in the toilet. And this scene is about five, ten minutes long. <gasps> and I said to the costume woman, I said, I'm, I had to tell her, I said, I'm really nervous about this because I've been going to the toilet a lot and I can't think I can hold it. <laughs> she said, Don't worry, Lee. If worse comes to worse, I'll put a tampon up there. <laughs> I said, I don't think no, that would work. if worse comes to worse, I'll be putting the tampon on. <laughs> this is getting me thinking. I... <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not even sure that would have worked. Because well, that would have just come out like a missile. <laughs> right? <laughs> it out. No, no tampon is going to hold that in. Audience then. <laughs> <laughs> You're trying to be in the audience then. <laughs> Never heckle Lee Mac. You wouldn't believe what he did. I jumbled those up a bit, uh, put them in reverse order. <laughs> Hope you're all doing well. Uh, see you guys next time, all right? Bye, guys.